Okay, folks, so we are now out here with these uh, Sky Slash 2s. I've finished both of them out. Um, they look pretty good. My paint skills are not that great, and I admit it. Um, anyway, paint is still wet. This red uh, is sort of like a epoxy paint. i am just grab some scrap paint that I've got. Um, and uh, so it's still a little bit damp, so I'm going to end up icky. But uh, I don't build gliders to look pretty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the big one down and turn the camera around. And what we'll do is we'll look at uh, some of the something or another. What I wanted to do is show you. Ah, I've got paint on me. Dang it. Come on. There we go. So that's where we are. We're currently CGing. About. Yeah. Just behind the uh, wing root trailing edge. So, I'm going to try and give this a test glide. You can see it flies well. Um, that's about where you want it. Let's try again here. Looking good. Um, so it's flying nose high, which you kind of want. Maybe not perfect. But the question, what we want now is we want, when we launch this airplane, we want it to go straight and then peel off to one side and maybe pitch up a little bit. So we're going to look for that. So. And you can see it pitches up strongly. You don't want that because that will result in it looping under power. Um, well, actually, with the down thrust, it probably won't, it probably won't loop very much under power, but as soon as the power comes off, uh, so you'll get this real nice boost and then the airplane will pitch over. Um, and so you lose a bunch of altitude. Um, on a 1 4th A engine, your, your burn is about uh, 0.3 seconds and then you've got a full 3 seconds of the airplane coasting around. And that uh, equates to a lot of altitude. So what I'm going to do, I've got a little strip of wood that I'm going to break off. I'm going to put that on the um, wing root trailing edge. Not the wing root, the stab. On the underside of it. And I'll show you. Maybe you can see here what I'm about to do. So what I'm going to do. Uh, maybe. My son is tossing gliders around. And his are flying better than mine. So, this is what in the free flight industry, you can see it right there, that's called a gurney flap. And I keep grabbing it by the pod, which has wet red paint. Blast! <sighs> Alright, so let's try again. We still get a decent glide. Actually, probably a better glide. Will keep us from stalling under under power or in the glide. And now we pop in there, see a positive recovery. Still probably a little bit loopy. Let's try it once more. And that was a terrible throw. I wish I had not used this red paint because everything else is dry except the red. <coughs> Alright, we need another gurney flap because it's pitching up too much. Everything is sticking to the paint. Oh well. Like I said, I just don't care that much. I do kind of care because it's looking disgusting, so I'll probably take some paint thinner to it and I don't know what I'll do, but I'll do something. Alright, so we're going to add another one of those. And go. One, six. one, six. I don't get it, but no. I never have really, yeah, anyway. Sorry, 
guys, I'm gluing myself to the plane. The paint, the glue is sticking better to me than it is to the airplane. Alright, so there you can see the, uh, what, what we've done. So, Alright, so let's see here. Ah, that was a terrible throw. Ah, let's try again. Alright, so you can see it's floating real nice. It might need a little bit of tail weight by the time we're done. But, all that looks good, so... Didn't pitch up too much on that throw. So we're probably about right. And look at that. My son also knows how to fly planes. All right, so that popped out and stalled. Uh, but the main thing is, looks like it's tracking pretty good. So, I'll try one more. And that popped out real pretty. We've got something of a glide circle, but not much. So, let me pop this off and get it back, and I'll show you how to fix that part. All right, so our one issue with our little Sky Slash 2 here is it wasn't turning in the glide. So what I have done is I have twisted the fuselage, just grabbed it and wrenched on it. So now you can see the left side of the stab is higher relative to the wing. Than the, uh, than the right side. So that should force us into a left turn. Now, I'm also, I've got a little bit of left rudder in there, so that's pure, purely from a build error, um, but that's convenient. So, now, you see I've got a real nice left turn. So, I'm gonna try throwing this thing super hard again. Hopefully, I won't drop the camera, and you'll get to see what I'm talking about here. So, Arr, nope, I didn't throw it right. Thunk. Let's try again. Actually, I'm gonna try throwing this way. Uh, not quite. Well, it's trying to pull out of the dive and whatnot, and we know we have a positive uh, left-hand bias, so. Yeah, that's what you want to see right there. All right, so that airplane's trimmed, and we'll launch it in a little bit, and you'll get to enjoy that flight. Um, and my glue has turned over over here. So, let me get that out of the way, and then we'll get the big one out. Okay, so we've got our bigger Sky Slash 2. And CG came out basically proportionately about the same place. So this should fly good right from the start. And it doesn't, it stalls. Um, I'm gonna assume though that that stall, yeah, I think it's over elevated a little bit. It may be tail heavy too. That's easy enough to fix. I did put a, quite a bit of paint on it. Um, and the CG does look like it's a little bit farther back than on the other one. Whoa, just about got hit by that. <clears throat> I really need to put one of those on a rocket. That would be pretty awesome. Um, so I'm going to start by going ahead and giving this thing some down elevator because I know it needs it. And then, from there, we will uh, proceed further. So, put a little bit of down trim on here. Uh, no, Caleb, please put that back. Don't just drop it. All right, be, be right back. I gotta reposition that. It takes both hands. Okay, so you can see right there where we put it in. So let's see what happens now. Hi. Hi. Yeah, it still stalls. Not severely, but it does stall a little. Um, looks happier. Let's find out what we what happens when we throw it harder though. That'll give us a better idea what's happening. And it pulls out vigorously so 
needs more down trim. All right, so you can see, I'll put another shim on the other side, gurney flap thingy. And now, still stalling a little bit. Got a really soft stall there, I like seeing that. Um, but let's see what happens when we throw it a little harder. See if it's looping out of that very much. And yes it is. Now that at the end is because now as it slows down you get more wing wash um, and the CG starts to take over and the airplane drops in. But um, we also are noticing it's not turning. So let me look at this a second. So I got some right bias so I'm going to give it some more just by bending the bottom of the rudder. I don't know if you can see that. I bent the bottom of the rudder more to the right, so we should. Well, that was counterproductive. All right, let me, uh, let me give it some stab tilt so it's not fighting itself. I think it's got right, uh, or sorry, left turn stab tilt. So let's take a look, and if we look at it, yeah. So, I'm just gonna twist the fuselage, and now, it's the other way. So, well, it's definitely pulling to the right now. Um, I think it is still too loopy. Yeah, it's getting close, getting very close. So, we'll be back once I uh, get another shim on. Okay, so I put another one on the left side there. Let's see. Looking better. Actually looking quite good. I may not even need... I'm not sure if I'm actually going to need that tail uh, nose weight. Looks like maybe about right. Not surprising. It has a very large stab, so there's that. And, oh wow, still kind of a little bit of a pop there at the end, um, but not bad. What I really ought to do is put a catapult on this and catapult launch it a few times just to see what it'll do. Um, but in the meantime, what we're going to do is we're going to try, I'm going to throw it into a right turn here. Oop, that was graceful. Unlike a good hand launch glider, there's no place to, to grip it for a proper throw. So, oh well. And I want to just nail my child. There we go. And... What's it say? I don't know. I can't tell if that is tail heavy or not. I don't have enough experience with these. Probably a smart person would just say, let's throw some clay on the nose and see what happens. So maybe I'll do that. I do not like clay on the exterior of planes like this though, because it just looks ugly. And that was a bad throw. I do like how soft the stall is. I don't know what I did right about that airfoil, but I got it right. All right, back in a moment. See what I mean about how awful it looks? But we're gonna try it. And, yeah, I think it needs it. I do think it needs it. It also needs more right rudder. Separate issue. Um, let me give it a little bit of right rudder. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to weigh that out, and then I'm going to put a punch a sliver of clay up inside so you can't even see it. Not clay. Lead. Actually, I may just glue the clay up inside. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's ta that's nose heavy because it's uh, it's just kind of nosing over. So half that much clay. Okay, so you can't even see it, but I glued the clay up inside. Now let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. So we're ready to launch it now because um, it does not pitch up too much when you throw it hard and we'll prove that just one more time so you can see see it goes nice and straight into the glide 
and you can see that's a really nice long glide not bad for an airplane with kind of stubby wings um, so we'll uh, we'll try launching that in a little bit so you can see uh, proof that yes indeed that is the correct way to do it back in a bit okay, so we're out so we're out here with the uh, the big sky slash 2 and the little one we're gonna go off with the little one first um, you can see I've got the kind of offset set up here you got the tail of the rocket free of everything, and that's a 1 4th A engine. Uh, 1 4th A 3 3 T, which is what's currently chosen. And Caleb, say go Tigers. Go Tigers. It's game day, y'all. <laughs> All right, so uh, hopefully this isn't going to go up in the sun where I can't see it. Um, and let me set Caleb's lighter over there. All right. So, let's get continuity. We've got continuity. Uh, launch of the uh, mini 60% Sky Slash 2. Alright, going in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And away it goes. Perfect launch. And it's out. I don't know if you can see it real well, but it's up there. It's coming in kind of hot. Um, yeah, there we go. A nice transition to the glide. It's about what you want to see with these. It is nose heavy. Um, coming in here. And just missed everything. Perfect. Alright, so let's go over here and we'll check it out real quick. I will say, uh, I may have trimmed it a little bit too flat there. You want, the glide was fine as far as uh, CG, um, but the uh, it took a while to pull out. And no scorching really to speak of, so we're good. Um, you don't really see any scorching on these. They do well enough. Now, you don't want to touch that, Caleb. It's got wet paint. Still wet, yes. Alright, let me set this down and we'll come back for the other one. Okay, so what I have here is I have used balsa and whatnot to friction fit an A10 3T. It's kind of loose, you don't want it to fit tight. Um, I'm out of A83s, so this will work. So, I'll slide this guy on the rod. I can hold the camera and do this at the same time. There we go. And I'm going to let it kind of hang on there a little bit. Unclick the old stuff, and I try to use the uh, tension of the clips to hold it up here a little. I don't like these jointed launch rods myself, but Estes seems to think they're the thing. All right, we'll come back in a minute. Okay, we're good to go. So, um, hey, just hold it. My son is having fun with the launch controller. All right, launch of the uh, full size Sky Slash 2 on an ATEM 3T. Going in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, wow. And it's going in. Oopsage. Okay, so we have retrieved it. I took uh, two of those um, uh, gurney flaps off the trailing edge of the wing, had a little bit of clay to the nose, did a whole bunch of throwing, and it looks like it's happy now. So, um, those of you who have flown free flight gas know what Civvy Boy Syndrome is. Not Civvy Boy. Yeah, Civvy Boy. Um, that's what this airplane did. Uh, go too fast with a uh, aft CG and the airplane pitches over like that. Anyway. Here goes round two. This is on a one half A because I'm out of even A10 3Ts. I have no full A's left. All right, got continuity? All right, going in five, four, three, two, one. Yes, it's one, so push the button. And it still gets up there real nice. Engine did not come out. Nope. Dang it. Ouch. Nope. So so that was a super wimpy ejection charge. This thing was still in there and it just did not pop out. So we're going to go on a B64 and hopefully the tail will stay stay on. So hold that please. Hold that. Um, Either that or just be it. 
epic crash. It is going to be an epic crash if that tail comes off. Otherwise, it should be fine. Good news is it hit soft grass, so there was literally no damage whatsoever. I don't know what made the noise when it hit. I think it was actually stuff, uh, may have been the engine clattering around in the nose. But anyway, hey, uh, launch profile looked fine. Let's see if I can. Now on my wallet, my wallet get play. Yeah, you can have that one, Kayla. Yep. A pretty card. Why is... So what we're doing is it pulled off that way, so I'm trying to tilt the rod over the other way. Um, just to so keep things straight. Rod is these straight. Do, uh, do follow something of a spiral in their launch. Yeah, that rocket noise. And that's not good. No. It either rockets stairs. Ah. Uh, turn the video camera back on when I'm. Fine. All right, let's see if we can do this. Don't pull that wire, please. All right. Yes, this B64. This will go practically out of sight. Lovely. All right, we got continuity. All right, going in five, four, three, two, one. And there went the tail. Oh, I hear a pop. Yeah, I see it up there. I don't know how much of it's left together. I don't know which way it's going to glide, but. I don't know if y'all can even see this. It is turning a little. So, no, it's not turning anymore. Oh. Maybe. Nope. All right, got to let y'all go so I can go find it. Okay, so I did not get it back. Uh, Hope did find some of the pieces we lost. Um, I knew I had seen at least three pieces of rocket come off. And, yeah, I did. So, this is... This piece goes like, where is it? Ah. All right, no, this way. It goes right there. So your, and this would have been right about there. So you can see we lost um, a good 50% of the stab. Oh, I'm sorry, no, that goes up there because... Yeah, so catastrophic uh, stab flutter. I sanded the stab too thin. I knew I sanded it too thin. I was hoping it would handle a B engine, but uh, it did not. So, um, things to know. Uh, flight trim, well, it's a, a robust airplane. I mean, it still continued to glide in a somewhat stable manner, even with half of the stab missing. Um, so, yeah, that part was fun. Uh, this guy, uh, we showed you how to fly it correctly. Um, don't add as much down trim as I, I did, um, because this one even was uh, borderline neutral um, with it. So, uh, things to know there. Um, I will be obviously building another, and when I do, I'll get the, uh, the video uploaded so y'all can enjoy all that. Uh, but in the meantime, learn from my stupid mistakes. Um, if you're going to launch this, uh, the, the full-size Sky Slash 2 on a B engine, uh, don't sand the tail like I did. Just round off the edges. Um, yeah. Oh, well. Uh, anyway, uh, I guess that concludes all of the saga of this. So y'all have instructions and whatnot. So you know how to fly them. Uh, see y'all later.